Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to print the fibonacci sequence using the for loop now guys a fibonacci sequence is the integer sequence as you can see it starts from 0 that is the first integer and then the second integer that is the second term it is 1 and then the next term it will be the sum of the previous two numbers that is 0 plus 1 it is equal to 1 so this is the third term now and then the next term that is 2 it is equal to 1 plus 1 which is the sum of previous two numbers and guys so on all the integers will be generated. rated so over here 8 is the sum of the previous two numbers that is 3 and 5 so guys always remember that the first two numbers it will be 0 and 1 which are the first two terms in the fibonacci sequence so as you can see the first two terms are 0 and 1 all the other terms are obtained by adding the preceding two terms so this means to say that the nth term is the sum of n minus 1 and the n minus 2 term over here so guys let us check the python program in order to implement this fibonacci series and what we will be doing is we will be asking the user to enter the number of terms that is required inside the fibonacci sequence and we will be generating those number of terms using the python code so guys over here we will say n terms so this is the variable name that we are going to give which will be entered by the user so we provide input function and then we say enter the number of terms in fibonacci series so over here the user will be providing the number of terms that is required in the fibonacci series that he wants to see now before this input we will be providing the int function so that the input that is provided by the user which is of the string data type is converted to the integer and then it is stored in the n terms now guys what we will be doing is we will have the three variables over here n1 and then we have n2 and then another one will be n3 so over here for now the n1 and n2 values will be 0 and 1 and then we have the third term that is n3 which will be found by using the sum of the previous two numbers so for now we will keep it as 0 since we will be finding it inside the for loop now guys what we have to do is we have to use the for loop and then we have to go through all the terms in such a way that we have to find the fibonacci series with this many terms that is the n terms which is provided by the user so guys inside the for loop we have this i variable and then we will be using the in and then we have the range now guys this range it will go from 0 up to the number that is n terms so over here we provide the n terms now guys out of these n terms we already have the two terms that is n1 and n2 which is already included as the part of this n terms so what we have to do is we have to exclude these numbers so we have to provide minus 2 this time since these two numbers are already included so we have n terms minus 2 and then after this we have the colon and then what we can do is we can compute the value that is 3 so before computing what we have to do is we have to print those two numbers that is n1 and n2 so over here we will be providing the print statement and then we can say fibonacci series and then followed by colon and then what we can do is we have 0 and then we have 1 over here and then after this we have to provide the dot format function and then we can simply provide n1 comma n2 so guys this will help us in order to print the first two terms that is n1 and n2 now guys for this what we have to do is the next print statement should not go on the next line so we will provide the end parameter over here so for this end parameter we will provide space over here and remove the last space from here now guys in order to generate the n3 number what we have to do is it will be the sum of the previous two numbers that is n1 and n2 so over here we will come back again n3 it is equal to n1 plus n2 which means 0 plus 1 that is 1 which will be stored in this n3 now guys we can simply print this n3 over here which will be the continuation after this print statement that is 0 and 1 so over here we will provide the print statement and then inside this we provide the number that is n3 and then followed by comma and then space again so over here followed by dot and then we provide the format again and then we say n3 so guys this is the way that we can provide the n3 as the variable by using these curly braces and using the dot format function over here now guys the next step will be after providing this n3 we have to set the n1 and n2 numbers as the preceding two numbers so now the n2 value should be 
provided to the n1 variable so over here n1 it is equal to n2 and then the value of n3 should be provided to the n2 so this will help us in order to set the previous two numbers so that we can find the next n3 term over here so basically we have the next expression as n2 it is equal to n3 so guys n2 value is now stored in n1 and n3 value is now stored in n2 so next time when the control flow comes back over here n1 plus n2 will be stored in the n3 and we will get the new n3 value and again it will be printed over here by using this print statement so guys this is the way that we can find the entire fibonacci series for the number of terms that is entered by the user now guys let me just save this file now and try running this code let us check for the very first time the five terms inside the Fibonacci series which will start from zero so when we enter the number five over here and then when we press enter as you can see Fibonacci series it is zero one one and then we have two and then we have three now guys the other terms that is two and three have come on the next line that's because we have not provided the end parameter over here so what we will be doing is we will remove the space character after this comma and over here we will provide the end parameter so after this comma we provide the end parameter for this print statement and we provide the space character as the end parameter now this will help us to not go on the next line after this print statement is executed now let me just save this file now and try running this code once again this time we will see for the seven number of terms inside the fibonacci series so when we press seven when we press enter over here as you can see we have got the seven terms so zero one one and then we have two which is the sum of one plus one which is two and then two plus one we have three three plus two we have five 5 plus 3 is 8 over here and that is how we have got the 7 terms of the Fibonacci series. Now guys let us run this code once again. This time we want 12 terms over here. So when we press enter after this 8 which was the 7th term over here we have the 8th, 9, 10, 11 and then 12 terms. So 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 plus 8 is 21, then 21 plus 13 is 34, 34 plus 21 is 55 and 55 plus 34 which is 89 and this is the last term in the Fibonacci series as far as 12 number of terms in the series are concerned. So guys this is the very simple way in order to find the Fibonacci series. So guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs. Make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to print the fibonacci sequence but using the recursion so over here currently we have used the for loop but in the next program we will be using the recursive function in order to find the fibonacci sequence so stay tuned